All right, so this is one of my favorite types of questions to ask because it really shows if you understand significant figures and what's going on with the addition, um, subtraction, multiplication, division rules. So the first things first, in this situation, you want to follow PEMDAS, so you would normally do this first top quantity, right? Um, so let's go ahead and do that first. You would say 249.362, and I'm going to add it up with the decimal places aligned. All right, so when you add this up, you end up with an answer of 290. 0.362. But when you add, remember adding and subtracting, you looked at you look at um, precision. So you knew this answer all the way to the tens, hundreds, thousands place. But this answer you only knew to which place? This would be the ones place. So when you added them up, your final answer you know to the ones place. Well, if I were to ask you how you'd represent 290, knowing it to the ones place, you would actually write 290 point. That says, hey, I know the, I know the hundreds, the tens, and the ones place. I know this whole thing. And so that's really important for the next step. So we actually know 290 point. In other words, one, two, three significant figures of this resulting answer. Now we can take that and plug it back up here. So in other words, now we have 290 0.362, of which we know three sig figs because we know it to the ones place. We divide that by 63.498. And we get 290.362 divided by 63.498. And we get 4.5728. But this, we only knew three of, and this we knew five of. So remember that when we uh, multiply or divide, I don't know why I just wrote a percent sign, <laughs> when we multiply or divide, we're looking at sig figs, not precision. So this had three, this had five, our answer therefore is going to have three. We look at that number and ask if the number next to it's five or greater. It's not, so our answer is 4.58, or excuse me, 4.57 period, or you could put 4.57E0 if you want to represent it in scientific notation. And that's it.